you know, as I mentioned in the unboxing video, this uh, tablet over here, there's the differences between this uh, Lenovo TB-103, no, Dash X103F tablet. Difference between that and this uh, RCA Cambio W101 V2 tablet. Both these tablets do have, there's, there's, there's many differences between both these tablets. Like differences, like one runs Android, like this Lenovo does, and this RCA runs Windows. There are numerous differences. On the outside, you don't see much. <laughs> yeah, both of them have solid state internal storage. They both have uh, cameras on them. They're capable of uh, they're capable of filming in high definition. They do have touch screens. <coughs> but even the noticeable differences. Yeah, we'll start with the Lenovo tablet first. On this side, you pretty much see it's like your volume control. That's probably your volume control, your power button. Just like on any smartphone you see out there. Like on any common Android smartphone. And yes, the USB port there. It also doubles for, say, if you're char recharging and all that. And here's a, uh, there's a slot for, uh, SD storage. There's an SD card already in there. A 32 gigabyte micro SDHC card installed in this one. I figure on the back there. There's like speaker there. There's a, there on the back, there's uh, speakers on both sides. Oh yeah, an HD uh, capable video camera on there. This one has... Right on the front there is like, like what you see there. That's actually a, a video camera right in there. Which is probably if you want to take, if someone wanted to take selfies and shit. Yeah, both these tablets probably do have that feature. And that's like, like, like say, the features find this uh, tablet device here, this Lenovo tablet. Now we're going to focus on the uh, RCA tablet, like say the differences. And yeah, there are differences. Here, the RCA tablet has some more features. Like, sure, it has a uh, camera on the, out, on the outside here that's also capable of filming in high definition. Both of them are capable of filming in high 720 progressive scan. There's your power button right there, and there's a uh, Windows button right there. Which is in case, uh, which can also be used for accessing the start menu. It's even got a reset button right there. So yeah, build a microphone. Or a microphone that's probably in the back. This one's got right on the side there. Detachable microphone say microphone. Even it's got a separate uh outlet for uh sorry even a mini HDMI connector. Major HDMI connector, say a lightning port, which is like telly. Even it's got a, uh, I think this has a, uh, oh yeah, seems like the top of there has a, uh, looks like a headphone jack right there. Something I forgot to mention there. A headphone jack. And yeah, this one here, it's a headphone jack, the aforementioned power button, but this also has, sure has a USB port, but it's a full size, but this, but this one has a full size 
USB port, which means you could hook flash drives to this or external hard drives. Even it's got volume control right there. I don't know, that might be. Maybe not, but that could be. Mm, that could be for brightness and shit. But interesting with this tablet. Even it's got a uh, micro SD card there, slot there. But this one can support up to a 64 gigabyte micro SD XC card. You know, on there, it's even got uh, an external speaker. I'm sure, that one's a little bit there, but this one here. That's pretty much everything you see there on this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, those features. This one also has is a full-fledged keyboard. Sure, it's like a function button, which is probably many laptop keyboards. As you hear, bright, like for say sleep mode, escape, just like on Windows, if you know how to use it. Brightness controls, mute. Lower the volume, increase the volume. <laughs> that could be for zooming, whatever. Well, that is, I don't know. I think for system settings and. Oh, yeah, even some controls there. Like pause, play, fast forward, backwards, oh, rewind, backwards, fast forward, forwards. Yeah, print screen. Very useful if you want to get a uh, background, whatever. Yeah, all the usual controls. Oh yeah. On all Windows keyboards these days. Ever since Windows 95 came out, you always see a Windows logo. And this here is a... It's a touch pad here. Which also functions as a mouse. The interesting fact is this tablet, this RCA tablet, can also accommodate. It's a whole variety of this can even accommodate a mouse if you want. Full cord and mouse. You can even hook flash drives to this. And even portable hard drives. Interesting fact, if you take videos like this or pictures, and you need to, uh, and you want to save them, instead of having to hook it directly to your computer, if you got a flash drive or a portable hard drive, you can just put it right on the portable hard drive or flash drive. Or if it's saved right down to the micro SD card, if you got an adapter for that, you can just take the micro SD card, hook in the adapter, and if you and if you uh, and that's if you got an SD, and if that's if you got an SD slot on your uh, computer, that takes SD cards. But you can just take the uh, micro SD card out safely, find an adapter which uh, is which is provided with these micro SD cards nowadays. And you can actually. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll probably do show you an illustration. Like, I could probably just show you an illustration. What you can hook to this, if you want. Just a few examples you can hook up to this ta RCA tablet. Or you can hook up uh, flash drives if you want. Hook up flash drives, or hook up port portable hard drives if you uh, if you take any pictures with this or, or uh, take videos, and you want to save them. You take you take, you take a ton of them. You want to save them. You can hook a portable hard drive and just transfer everything from there to those. Or you can even, uh, you can even hook your cell phone up to it if you want. Like hook it up. Probably you got a USB cable. What if you got iTunes installed on that? You can even pretty much, uh, or you can even hook up a, a mouse if you want. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're a serious user of those. But only the problem is you, know, you can only hook up one at a time. <clears throat> or if you got an iPod or whatever, an iPhone, and you got iTunes, you could pretty much use that too. <laughs> I tell you, Windows tablet like this, like this RCA, you definitely have a lot of advantages. Oh, even you could even hook up a printer to this if you want. If you want to print anything off. If you want to print anything off. That gives, that's like an advantage right there. 
relatively easy advantage. Oh yeah, the notable difference between these uh, two tablet devices is, that, is, is the uh, cables that are used to recharge them, or adapters. Here's the Nova tablet here. Has an adapter here with a uh, detachable USB cable. Figure this uh, cable here detaches from the uh, plug there. Any advantage of that uh, uh, cable is it can let you connect this directly to your computer if you're getting photos off of there. <coughs> oh fuck. You can even transfer the photos off even this cable. I could probably transfer the photos off that tablet onto my tablet device if I wanted to. Like the photos, videos, and shit like that if I wanted to. And get away with it. <laughs> Without any fucking hesitation. <laughs> because my tablet here has a fucking uh, USB port on there. Well. Yeah, figure if you're transferring shit off uh, on your computer. That'd be good if you're transferring photos and videos off of this one on, the, on your computer. Or if you want to put music onto it. Or videos. You can. <laughs> and even this tablet device here. Here's the US, here's the uh, recharge, here's the cable that came with it. For recharging. Yeah, it's a standard AC adapter. The reason why it's a separate power outlet because one, a dedicated, a dedicated plug for uh, recharging. Just like any electronics, whatever. That's all you could use that for is recharging. But it doesn't matter anyway. Figure the Lenovo tablet's got a multi purpose uh, plug and cable to set up. And the fun part about this. The cable off of there. It could also be. It could also. You could also recharge your smartphone off of this. If you got an Android smartphone, you could probably recharge it with this uh, cable right here for this. Pay the cable for that. You can probably recharge your smartphone or transfer shit off uh, between uh, your computer and your smartphone too. If you got an Android smartphone in a pinch, so that's like a so that's like a, so that's like a double that's like an advantage right there with this one. Yeah, both of them got advantages in some areas. This Lenovo does have advantage in one area here. Now we got both these devices running. This is like where. Well, like the advantages, like this Windows tablet here. If you use, if you use Windows 10, you, you should you should, you should know exactly. It's even got this feature here called Touch Keyboard. But part if this tablet here was detached from this uh, detachable keyboard, you could type you could just type whatever you need off of there. That's one of the advantages right there. That's where the Windows button's right there on the. Uh, Like managing Wi-Fi is different. Tells you even a even if you know, if you know Windows 10, if you use Windows 10, you know exactly what this is capable of doing. Notifications, like if you got like a Hotmail account or a Windows uh, or a Microsoft uh, type email account, except through Microsoft, that'll even let you know if your emails come in. Figure the bundled applications this has. Figure Solitaire Collection. Oh yeah, Office Mobile. Mobile Office. But the fun part is you can actually configure this. You 
Like in fact, you can configure this. See, most used. Got features there too, like calculator, calendar, cameras, connect. Solitary collection was installed on this. Uh, yeah, money, movies, and TV. Firefox, I installed that myself. And Norton Security. If you register, if you got, if you got, if you got an account with Norton, uh, like if you got Norton Internet Security, yeah, QuickTime, Real Networks, you need that. Even then, I don't even need fucking QuickTime. Oh yeah, that's like Windows features here. Yeah, for that icon here. You put a mouse over that, and if, and if say, and if you do have a Windows uh, account, whatever, like a Hotmail or Windows Live uh, email account, I will pretty much like figure Windows accessories. In fact, this type of device here has a uh, basically a full functional version of Windows. Oh, well, that's just a character map, Internet Explorer. Why don't you have that? Now I got Microsoft Edge. Sure, Notepad. That could be very useful if you're editing websites without, uh, if you know, if you know, if you know the HTML code. That could be a very useful way for editing fucking websites. <laughs> yeah, like the source code websites can be viewed with Notepad, but no problem. Say Paint. Quick assist. Yeah, Windows Media Player, which is a good feature. Oh, yeah, WordPad. So, i like, uh, i like Office. Yeah, I figure it's a full functional version of Windows. Let me check something here first. Yeah, and this is where this is where this tablet, where my tablet here has an adva has advantages over that uh, Android tablet. More memory, even though it's a thirty-two uh, bit operating system. But the CPU is like an Atom Z3735F. And it's only and it's a 32-bit version. And this one, and the other advantage is it's got 32 gig internal storage. And it can support up to 64 gig. Micro SD XC card. That's one of the advantages that this device, this Windows tablet has. It lets you know exactly how much that time you have remaining, but based on how you use it. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> I don't have to give you a tour how this uh, works because. <laughs> Google, Lenovo, Calendar, Download. It's on here. It's like. It's your can application, downloads, calendar settings. So the features here. That's to say, uh. Movie theater up in, uh. Pleasant Hills or West Mifflin. That's a very useful application here. If you got cable T if you got cable TV service. You also have your internet service and shit as well. I think this one is. 
you know, for YouTube, Subway Surf, Solitaire. That's my advice. Never let, uh, never let, uh, Eight-year-olds fucking touch these uh, devices because they could screw it up. I'm sure, they can install shit there, but if they, if they like it so fucking much, I'd say if, anybody, if anybody's got if got kids uh, watching this, if you, can't, if you if you don't want your, if you if you want your tablet running properly, like I say, if you have an Android tablet, if you have the my buy two of them at least. Then let your fuck then let then let then, then let your kid have one. And then and then your kid will have a tablet that he or she can do the fuck he or she wants with it. And then you got a tablet, you can use it for what you want. Like dolly applications. Like say for these uh Android tablets. It would probably, you probably won't be able to download shit unless you got uh a Gmail account, and you and you registered to Google fucking Play. Like if you registered to Google Play, then you could download applications for this. I don't think that's necessary for this. Uh. In fact, there's two ways. Even this uh, RCA tablet has advantages. In fact, this RCA tablet here has advantages. Like you can, you can download applications through Windows Store. Applications that can be paid or free. Or if you know how to use a, or if you, uh, or you could just download it directly from the website. You could direct, you could download it directly through uh, your web browser. Just like all the versions of Windows, like before Windows 10, or before Windows 8, you had the ability to direct. Yeah, say so you have the ability to download. So I figure when I put these applications on, like Adobe, Firefox, Norton Security, whatever. Firefox, that's probably the first one I downloaded. I probably downloaded that one through, say, or a Microsoft browser I had, and once I got installed, I switched to that, and the rest were pretty much downloaded through that. So you can install various browsers, sure. Like this one here also has, a, has Google Chrome as its primary browser, and it even has an application for viewing YouTube. But viewing YouTube off of this. You can just bookmark it if you want. Oh well, yeah, getting YouTube applications. Holy shit. <laughs> In reviews. <laughs> In 
is is actually multi and is actually dual purpose. It could be it could be just like a full functional laptop. Like Windows is full functional. <laughs> yeah, it's even got unboxing and all that shit. Sure, if you can read the bookmark websites. Sure, shine like shine down an Android tablet. Like shine down on his Android tablets, you have to push the power button for a second or two, then it'll be a, uh, then it's will pop up and says, "What oh, you want to power off?" Whatever, you press that. Or you can restart it, and it'll just tell you, it'll tell you it uh, says your tablet will shut down. Then it'll turn itself off. Shut down one of these. It's like if you use one just ten, you know how to use, you know how to shut the fuck down. It's like any start menu there, power icon. It's about to shut down and then shuts down automatically. The devices will shut. Devices shut down. Yeah, figure this here. Like, and the comparisons. Like this one here has one gig of RAM, sixteen gigs internal storage. It can support a micro SD HC card up to thirty-two gigabytes. If you want to expand the storage. But one of the advantages that this also has over that is this one here has better vi as a you can get better quality videos and pictures, or say say even video better quality. Oh yeah, a longer battery life. That part's true. Like up to ten hours, like say ten up to ten hours of that. This one here might get up to six hours. The advantages with this one. Is one that this this has twice the RAM, twice the internal storage. Like figures, this one's got two gigabytes of uh, RAM, thirty-two gigabyte internal internal storage, thirty-two gigabytes, and can support up to a sixty-four gigabyte micro SD XC card, which means this can give you more internal storage. Any other advantages is one, it's got a detachable keyboard. Then it's got an HDMI connector if you got an adapter, lightning com compatible adapter, as well as a full USB port on there, which means you can connect shit. That's like one of the advantages. And like that, it's got a full functional version of Windows, which means this can also be used as say. Which can also be used as an alternative to a computer, to a, say to a, to a, say a full-blown PC in a pinch. <laughs> so that's like an advantage right there. And sure, I get both of them. You could watch YouTube videos in full screen. But the fun part about this, if you're watching, like, if, so if you're gonna watch anything like from Daily Motion or Hulu off of this or YouTube, it don't even require a separate application. You can just watch it right through, right through your web browser. So yeah, this has advantages. Nice advantage. For this one here to watch it, you could probably get away with that. But they probably, but they also probably have applications for that purpose. Which also means you could be taking up space easily. Never tried to see what it takes what it takes to watch Hulu off of this device without any pro. Would say with, with, without the application. I should to see how. 
Well, the purpose of this video is trying to make a comparison between both of these. And that's like, and that's pretty much like your comparison video right there. Compare, like showing the differences between this uh, Android tablet and this Windows tablet.